Hey, what's up guys? This is not something I normally do, but I haven't found any short tutorials on how to do this. So I thought I'd just do it real quick and get out, uh, get out of your way. There seems to be some issues with thrustmaster.com's website with trying to get their um, software and stuff to work. So I'm just going to show you how to quickly get around that. So first thing you need to do is go to thrustmaster.com and it'll bring you to this page that I'm guessing just gets updated by intern. I mean, to be honest, like it's, they, they make great products, but their, their website needs work but yeah you want to go over here go to joysticks and you want to select whatever joystick uh, setup you have I have this one um, I just got it today and this is where I have the issue um, now I don't know if this works or not in Chrome I don't use Chrome because it's it just kills RAM um, but if you notice these buttons don't quite work so um, to get around this what you actually need to do is do a bit of session hacking so you get a two for one for this uh, so you just go in here, inspect element. I think it's the same thing with Chrome, and you'll notice it has it's highlighting this uh, current row. So what I'm looking for is a link, because all downloads are actually just glorified links, which says link right here. If you'll see that, and this is actually what I'm looking for. This is uh, looks like accessories target, blah blah blah, and executable, in which it is an executable. So you can see over here, well it doesn't say it, but anyway. So what you're gonna want to do then is just copy that. Go over here, get start a new tab if you want, and then hit paste and go. Now, I already got this, but you can see it has the download file for that, and this is safe. It's just, you know, it's your way of getting around it. Um, I actually already got this downloaded and installed and ready to go. Pretty cut and dry, simple to go. But before you do that, I'm going to show you to do this with Elite Dangerous because it's something that you might need help with. Um, now, with this current setup, I have F uh, FCS HOTUS which is uh, down here. So then what you want to do is, ironically, that works, and then you just want to save that, export it and stuff, put it somewhere where you're going to find it. Then, once you get all that uh, jazz going, you get this start up and start to go. This should be something you see right away. If you download that previous file and extracted it, you should get a file in there that I'm going to help you navigate to. Uh, mine right now is da -da 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 -da, right here. I don't know why I keep defaulting to that other one. And then you just open it up. Okay, yeah, and it normally does take some time. I just went ahead and skipped ahead. But you want to wait until this red uh, button appears and mapped out. And you want to see a map return of zero, which is good. And this is going to keep doing its thing. Um, it's just letting your software know that it's, it's doing a thing. And then we're going to go up and uh, launch Elite Dangerous. Okay, now that I got Elite Dangerous up and running, you're just going to go over here, go to Options, then go to Controls. And then go to presets. I have it set to custom because I tweaked like one thing. But all you need to do is go down here to Thrustmaster or whatever your setup is called. Um, the target software should take care of all of that for you because um, it's cool like that. And then um, that's that's it. Uh, you're going to want to go online, play around with it a little bit, and then... Uh, you know, just kind of get used to it. Um, the PDF they give you on that website isn't quite uh, exact to what the real controls are. So you're just going to have to go into training and play around with it. But um, I hope you have found this helpful. Um, I know I wish I would have saw this rather than dicking around for about an hour. So, um, yeah, uh, fly safe out there.